the thing is that God provides us with information, but he's bringing to mind a passage in Deuteronomy where it's specifically giving instruction about the appointment of a king. He already knows everything that you're going to do, but he gives you the choice to do A or B. He has, you know, A in mind for you. That might be the best choice, but he gives you the opportunity where you make your own decision because he loves you that much. He doesn't want to force your hand, which is why a lot of kingdom marriages are not coming into fruition as they should have because of people's wills, okay? And I, I want to say beyond a shadow of a doubt, God led me to this other gentleman. He, um, he allowed me to profess what I believed God showed me to this gentleman. And there were things in this person's care, but I was still battling, I was still battling with low self-esteem, even though from the outset, everyone would think that I'm so confident, I'm so secure. In the beginning, when we first met, I had been through a hell of a lot by then. So I was, I was supremely myself, but what I realized in that transition is I got to a place where I started conforming myself to the image I thought he desired. And that's what I'm saying, just going back to the ladies in particular, and uh, what God is admitting admonishing right now ladies is that you discard everything that you've been through you have to actually throw that that's what you need to throw away okay that's what you need to throw away the things that you've been through because this is a new thing and God wants you to start from scratch